So, uh, <laughs> just to recap what we were saying earlier, uh, JD, who is looking after the desk and the music, uh, is defending the 80s, really. I think there's a bit of, <laughs> bit of editorial comment coming in there. <laughs> if you missed the earlier conversation... <laughs> <laughs> I've sabotaged your show for you. <laughs> yes, yeah, well, it's, it's all working very well so far. If you just tuned in, our guest is, is Joseph Parsons, and he was explaining that uh, in the in the 80s he found it quite hard to to work on a sort of folky uh strand to keep that going in the 80s with all the other things that were going on and um jd was just sort of sticking in a, a bit of music there which he he likes and that's all right <laughs> and we'll try and come back to where we were <laughs> as best we can joseph when you got to Europe then well you've been spending a lot of time in Europe has that has that changed your music in 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 different ways or are you still on essentially the same direction you were in the states I think I'm on the same direction I I, I think it's a it might have changed the it's given me a little more perspective on my home country that's for sure um, as travel will do give you perspective on your life and um, I mean, I've always, before music even, before I was able to professionally travel for music, I was always traveling. I've done a lot of work, um, you know, outside of our country, in the Middle East. I've done a lot of peace work, and I've been in some, I've put myself in some really odd, strange situations at times. And all of the travel, and it only has helped broaden my sense of, you know, uh, what I in my small little world, what I believe is is the right way forward, or you know, politics, you know, call it all of that stuff, relationships, politics, and all these things, and it's broadened my sense. Cultures, you know, cultures collide, and it's a it's a wonderful thing, and it can be t- tough sometimes. So, yeah, well, that that makes that makes sense because I, I lis- listening to music it seems it seems as if it might come from the states so the the, the, the players the German players that you play with like you mentioned the, the bass player yeah Freddie yeah so the, uh, have they been listening to American music mostly or have they got their own take on things well they are heavily entrenched in the American music or the British music and um, but they're also pop you know, rock guys, you know, younger, they're, you know, probably 15, 20 years younger than I am, and they're, they like to rock, so for me, I'm, I'm, I get the best of both worlds, you know, because I love to rock and roll, and, and they, they can really bring it down, and so it's, but yeah, they've, they've come from listening to English, English sung and spoken rock and roll, you know, so they have a really deep sense of it, and especially for Germans, it's tough to find, um, for me, it's been tough to find drummers and bass players who, we, we, as we say, you know, don't play on top of the beat so much. Like, one of the, the great things about blues and some of the Western and stuff is it's played often on or behind the beat. You know, and it's a really simple thing, but extremely difficult to execute. And it's a feel thing, you know, playing behind. And it's a, this, it's a sensibility that was very hard to find with Germans. Um, in my experience, and I have utmost respect for them, but in the, in the rock world, they're always playing on top of the beat. So there's always a bit of that kind of angst in there. And I, I speak in big generalizations, and I don't mean to really disparage, disparage anybody, but in this case, it's a good generalization, I believe. So with my guys, they, uh, they just have a good sensibility about playing behind the beat and you know, if you when you start listening to music with some of these things, you go, "Oh man, look how how that's, that makes me feel. How, what's the feeling in there? What, how, listen to the drummer. You can, oh, I get it. They're playing a little bit maybe behind the beat, so it has this this lazy kind of thing. Makes me want to dance or makes me want to something. You know, and, and whether it's slow, fast, or whatever, it's, it's just differences. And you know, right? So. But you but you you you're moving in the same direction. So your your yes. music is is coherent across. Yeah. All, all of it. Yes, I, I believe so. You know. Well, let's have an, let's have another track. This 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 CD is called Empire Bridges, and there's a there's a track you've got. Yeah, we'll, you want you want to play, play we'll, next? We'll play this tune called Leave This Town, and I'll, I'll the setup is you know, um, it's got a little bit of Bruce Springsteen in it because it takes place in a small town. Somebody's trying to you know, kids are trying to get out 
what of their town when they grow up, go to the big city, whatever, adventure life, and find that for whatever reasons, I we just have to escape when we're younger, often where we are to to learn about our life, and that's what this song's about. It's called Leave This Town. Mm-hmm.